Lib Dem leader Tim Farron talking to Norman Smith earlier. The German government is considering controversial plans to turn away migrants if they have little prospect of gaining asylum in the country. The Chancellor Angela Merkel wants to create transit camps from which migrants could be automatically deported. Her previous open-door refugee policy has been severely criticised by opponents. Our correspondent Jenny Hill is at a migrant reception centre in Berlin. Already this year, more than half a million people have sought asylum in Germany. And as you can see, they're still coming. This is Berlin's main refugee reception centre. I've spoken to a number of people here today. The majority say they've come from Syria, but there are all nationalities here. The German government is now seeking to reduce the number of people arriving in Germany. And one of the ways it's tried to do that is to draw a distinction between refugees arriving from places like Iran, Syria and Afghanistan and those coming in perhaps those the government here would term economic migrants from places like the Western Balkan states now the Western Balkans as far as the German government are concerned are now safe countries of origin people coming from those countries have little prospect of being granted asylum in Germany and it's those people the German government is now targeting with this plan for transit camps along the border essentially people arrive at the border they be held in those huge camps and then deported uh, within a couple of days. It's built on an existing EU law. At the moment, if you arrive at a German airport, for example, and you don't have much chance of being granted asylum here, you can be held at the airport and then deported directly back to your country of origin. That's the kind of scheme the German government would like to see along its borders. But it's a controversial plan. Uh, Angela Merkel's co coalition partners, the Social Democrats, are very unhappy with it. They say it's inhuman and impractical. I think this illustrates too the fact that Angela Merkel is really under huge political pressure. She's sliding in the opinion polls and she's under a great deal of pressure from some of her own conservatives who've said if she doesn't reduce the number of people coming across the German border, they'll take her federal government to the constitutional court. Jenny Hill in Berlin. There are claims that one in nine privately rented homes in England has problems with vermin, rats, mice or cockroaches in the last year. The housing charity Shelter says half a million private renters in England are living in appalling conditions. Over a third of private renters surveyed say they've lived in a property with damp or mould. Our reporter Anna Adams went to meet Ruth, who shares one toilet and a kitchen with nine other tenants and her two-year-old son in East London.